do you see? It's a beach. It's a beach. Tell me about this beach. Let's see. Uh, um, a curved shore, mm-hmm. like a horseshoe. Tell me more. The water's dark. Mm-hmm. What does it feel like when you look at that water? What's the first uh, thing that you feel? Cold. Cold. Mm-hmm. And it's got deep blues, mm-hmm. almost black in spots, dark. Mm-hmm. From what perspective are you looking at this beach in this water? Um, Are you I can see, I must be, I'm, I'm on this, I can see the vista of it, so. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the water. Not in the water. Are you on the beach? I guess I'm on the beach. All right. So let's find out more about the observer of this scene. Do you feel that you have a body there? Do you feel physical? I don't feel physical. All right. So if you're not physical, we can now move and see the scene from a different perspective. Let's find out what's important about this beach in this water. I want you to tell me in what direction you feel most attracted to. Do you want to zoom out? farther away or do you want to get within the water it's almost like i'm from the south uh like almost above <laughs> it uh i don't feel like i'm in the water or the sand it's mm. almost like i'm elevated mm-hmm. and i can see the you and uh at the uh, northern end of the horseshoe uh it's l- like a hill or a a coastline, mountains maybe, not terribly tall. So let's go towards that and let's see what's there. Allow yourself now to drift and float to that place. And tell me what you experience. Rocks. Rocks. Dark rocks. Mm -hmm. Uh, Water's not gentle, it's like a sea, mm-hmm. well, obviously it would be a sea, mm-hmm. but not like a beach. It's not gentle like a mm-hmm. beach. So as you look at these rocks, what emotions do you feel? What comes to mind? It's kind of detached. Mm-hmm. I don't feel very connected to, Mm -hmm. not very human. Mm -hmm. Like maybe I'm a rock. So let's find out. I want you to focus on yourself. Tell me how you feel. Do you feel like a rock? I could be a rock. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't feel rocky. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> or I'm, I'm uh, like a, maybe an outpost. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can you move? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me where it is that you move to. I'm just being, uh, now I'm in the water. Mm, very good. 
kind of lapping against the rocks. Mm -hmm. I could go out further. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Just be out further away from shore. Let's go ahead and do that. Allow yourself to do that. And as you drift out, I want you to acclimate yourself completely to what it is that you are. Do you have anything physical about you? Or do you feel that you're just consciousness? Just sensing um, like the atmosphere m mirroring the water. It's also very dark. Mm -hmm. Uh, indigo, blue, black, mm -hmm. deep. Um, Can you go in the water? What do you feel when you think about being inside that water? See, uh, it's either a dolphin or a whale fin. Mm hmm Or do you see it? Just sticking out of the water. Mm-hmm. Is this yours or someone else's? Maybe it's mine. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to get completely acclimated in that body. I'm going to count from three down to one. When I get to number one, I'll touch your forehead and be completely in that body. Three, allowing yourself to become part of that body. Two, And one. As you adjust to that body, tell me what you're feeling. This is pensive. Mm -hmm. Underground, underwater. <laughs> I was gonna say underground. Mm -hmm. Deep underwater, and I see a. Ping of light above. Mm -hmm. What is that ping of light? Trust your impression. Um, I, at first, I thought it was the sun, but I think it's a moon. Mm -hmm. And in that water, what is it that you're doing now? Swimming. Mm hmm. And tell me how it feels. Take me on this adventure with you. This is dark. Mm -hmm. Everything's dark. Are you comfortable in that darkness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a circle of light. I can see like a dot. Well, it's more than a dot, uh, the size of a dime mm -hmm. from my perspective, mm -hmm. of a white circle. What do you imagine that white circle is? It feels like, uh, like a moon or mm -hmm. it could be a light. Let's find out. Allow yourself to go towards that light and describe it for me. Disappeared. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Confused. Mm -hmm.
What do you imagine that light was all about? Seems to be getting darker. Mm -hmm. I heard the word tease. It's a tease. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's teasing you. Connect with it. What is the teasing all about? Why the darkness? What does the darkness represent? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene now and let's go to another scene when something important is happening. I'm going to count from five back to one and I want you to find another memory. Another memory could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. When I get to number one, you'll be there. Five. Going back in time now. Four. Drifting and floating through time and space. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. Where are you? Is it daytime or not? It's dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's indigo. Like Again, very deep blue, almost black. Mm -hmm. And I can see the outlines of um, really tall trees, like very tall trees. And I'm, I just see the tops of the trees and the blue, dark, dark, almost black sky or atmosphere. Mm hmm. So go ahead and do a little time lapse on this and allow the light to come and shine. So as you go through this scene, see it getting brighter and brighter. And use your knowing so that you can know where you are. What is this place? Just your first impression. It's still dark. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. So I'd like you for you now to shift into another perspective. Shift into your knowing. Let's connect with that part of you that just knows the answers. So as you're in this space, I want you to know. Are you on land or on sea? Land. Land. Very good. Is this truly nighttime? Or is this place dark like this all the time? Dark. Dark. Mm -hmm. And let's find out what those structures are that are around you. What are those things that you feel are trees? I just heard fortress. Mm -hmm. Fortress. Very good. 
So let's go deeper into this and find out what this fortress is all for. A fortress usually is protecting something. Let's find out what's there. Where is this place and where are you? Do the trees make up this fortress? Or is there something beyond the trees? It's very hard to make anything out. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to use your vision. I want you to use your knowing. Why have you brought yourself to this fortress? What is there? There's something that's safe there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's safe there. See yourself in that place and you'll know what it is. <clears throat> Protection. Protection. Does this place serve as protection? Yes. All right, let's find out what you need to protect yourself from. Outside forces. Outside forces, very good. And where do these outside forces come from? Just hearing evil. Evil. Mm -hmm. So I want you to get a picture of what this evil looks or feels like. Terror. Terror. Mm -hmm. In what way do they, does this evil terrorize? It darkens the heart. It darkens the heart. Tell me about this place. It's a wave of sadness, deep sadness. Mm -hmm. <sighs> let's follow that sadness and let's find out where it originates. Keep following the sadness. Follow the sadness. Allow the images to come. I just feel constricted. Mm -hmm. um, like almost, it's hard to breathe and my heart feels tight. Mm -hmm. Like it's being choked. Let's find out if you have a physical body there. Switch and see. Let's find out what's keeping your heart constricted. What is this evil? What is this terror? What's being done to you? See, I just see flashes of light. Mm -hmm. I'm Let's see form. Mm -hmm. Let's follow this heart. I'm going to put my hand on your head and just follow that form. Where is that heart? What do you see? I feel like a planet. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
continue finding where is his heart. You'll know the name of the planet. What planet is this? Do you have a name? I can't speak it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The only way to release his heart is by allowing me to help you. What's happened to you? It feels like it's burning. Mm -hmm. Or it's, um, yeah, fire. All right, let's find out where this fire came from. I'd like for you to go back before that fire began, go back in time now. What's happening? What do you feel? Anxiety, mm -hmm. and it's dark. Mm -hmm. I, I can't describe what I'm seeing. It's uh, I can't describe this. It's do the best that you can, so I could help you. <sighs> dark. Mm -hmm. It's a dark blue again. Right. It's just energy patterns. It's mm -hmm. like almost like uh, I don't have the words. I don't have a context. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's like I'm looking at. Uh, black on the outside, and then deeper blue and then um, indigo and then kind of almost an electric blue but it's not mm -hmm. it's more like energy it's not color mm -hmm. and it's mm. what emotion is associated with this dark transmission mm -hmm. hearing transmission very good let's follow the transmission <laughs> Does it make sense to me? Does it matter? Mm. Keep following the transmission. What transmission are you receiving in this dark? It's like pulse. Pulse. Mm -hmm. Keep following the pulse. Where is that pulse coming from? God. Very good. Very good. Keep following the pulse. What is it? What is God telling you? What is God telling you? Now the emotion. Mm -hmm. Connect with the emotion. <laughs> what are you feeling? really emotional and mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the sadness. Keep following it. Keep bringing it out. Where did the it sadness hurts. begin? Uh huh. Let's find out what the hurt is.
<sighs> What's hurting? <sighs> Keep following the heart. Where's it coming from? What is the pulse? What is the message from God? What is the sadness? Put it all together. What is it? It's the disconnection. Disconnection from God? Is that it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I get a little patch of light, of white. It's bright. It's like a pulse of white. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now it's um the blue's gone and it's just black and white mm -hmm. let's find like out a, did i see a uh, what do you see like a, a white um blink of like um uh, Black with a little white. What is the significance of that? You'll know. What is that? I think I traveled somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's different. Pain's gone. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? <sighs> when did you use your knowing? It's more electric. Mm -hmm. I just am. Mm -hmm. Do you feel do you feel connected now? Where are I you? still feel um I feel hmm. It's, it's like all black with a little white uh, on one to the left. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a different planet or mm -hmm. I'm just out in space and there's a, a white pulsing light. Maybe it's like a, a beacon. Mm -hmm. It kind of pings. So as you're floating there looking at that pinging, I want you to think about the potential. What is the potential? Potential. I feel like I'm a floating planet. Mm -hmm. Or a rock, like maybe I'm a planet. Mm -hmm. So, as this planet, do you have anything on it right now? Well, the light mm -hmm. pulses. The light pulses. What do the light pulses do for you? Codes. Mm hmm. What do you use these codes for? Stabilize. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're stabilizing? It's 
sometimes. Mm -hmm. I feel tense. Let's find out why you feel tense. What's causing that? I hear I'm supposed to grow something and I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Who's helping you in your progress? Who's guiding you? Telling you that you need to grow things? The light. Mm -hmm. Can you connect with the light? It's intermittent. Mm -hmm. What's causing it not to be connected fully? It's my challenge. Mm. Have you chosen this challenge? So, mm -hmm. let's find out why you chose this challenge to be separated from your source. We're going to go now before this even occurred, before you became a planet. I'd like for you to see yourself now with source. This is a great test. Mm -hmm. To bring the light in the greatest darkness. How are you to do that? I'm to create it from within mm -hmm. to know it's there even though I don't know it's there and I don't remember how <sighs> did you agree to do this yourself or did source tell you to do it This is the supreme challenge. Mm -hmm. It is my directive. I will remember, for we are never truly disconnected. How do you find that light within? light can come in the darkest places. We 
we can create it. All you have to do is imagine it. So are you saying that we can create the light of God within? Yes. Mm -hmm. Once we create this light, what happens next? Is the challenge over? <laughs> no, we must grow it. Mm. Tell me more about this challenge of growing it. It's far easier to sit in the light of love, all connected. Mm -hmm. That's easy. But to find it in the dark places and grow it. That is the mark of a true warrior. Mm -hmm. Is that what Tanya has come here to be? A warrior? That is who she is. Mm -hmm. Is that why she has had a family that has not been close? She must learn she is the love. They are the love. She is the love. It is not outside of herself. Mm -hmm. So why did she choose to come into a life with so many adversaries, so many challenges? It wouldn't be fun otherwise. But I don't think she feels that this is fun. Who's the one thinking it's fun? She loves the challenge. Mm -hmm. To show her strength. Mm -hmm. So before she came into this lifetime, did she choose? His family? This family taught her independence. Did she need to not know that? Yes, it assisted her. Mm -hmm. How has it helped her? To not rely. You cannot rely on anyone. What about her marriage? What did she need to learn from that? She experienced love. And then she experienced the courage to leave love. How did that help the growth of this warrior? Self-reliance, mm -hmm. inner strength, going through life, making 
She can make choices now, independent choices. She, she trusts. She will be provided for. She will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. She will know what to do, even when from the outside appearance, there's no safety net. Mm -hmm. Well, on this earth, we need to pay the bills. And right now, she's been going through some disappointments. She's been working very hard in her career. And she experienced pretty much betrayal, thinking that she was going to be doing one thing and not. What is the reason that she's been doing what she has been doing? What are those skill sets being used for? She's connecting to the light and she's connecting with others and going forward I just see I see a great connection to light it's coming down from way above mm -hmm. um, creating the shape of a a pyramid a very um, tall triangular light shape and I sense that all will be well and all is connected what is the representation of this light pyramid what does that mean I'm hearing she's triangulating light mm -hmm. Is this something that she does without knowing it? Or is it something that she does in her work? Or in her meditations? This is her role. Hmm. Could you tell more about this role? She's a light being. Mm -hmm. This is her role to amplify light. There have been dark times. Where it feels like there's no light, there's no love connection. There's no connection. Mm -hmm. She feels alone. Is that why she carries the sadness? Is this a memory? It's a planetary memory. Mm -hmm. Which planet is this that should we talk about? You showed her a planet when we first started and something happened to that planet. a spinning a sphere what happened to this planet did it have a great potential I'm seeing another pyramid. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me about that one. The stone. It's like the whole planet is a pyramid. Mm Mm-hmm. What was that pyramid planet supposed to do? I'm hearing generator. Mm-hmm. I think it exploded, burned. Is it from her own energy? Or were there outside forces? She said she felt a darkness. Outside forces. Mm-hmm. So this I feel like it blew up. It blew up. Let's find out if somebody blew that up. I feel like it was an energy source for another system. Mm-hmm. was taken down. So that's why she got terror and evil? That's why she heard those words? Mm. Huh. I'm just I'm seeing an image of giant jaw with teeth. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. So how does that lifetime as a planet relate to the <laughs> lifetime of this warrior here today? Is she facing the same same thing in this life? This is a mission. Mm-hmm. What's this mission about? Generating the codes. And these are light codes. Does she have these codes? Yes, but she doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. This is where the sadness comes. So she carries the codes, but she doesn't know how to activate them? Is that it? She feels like a failure. Mm -hmm. So can we begin today to connect with Source and bring down deactivation? Of those codes? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand over your head, and let's begin bringing in those codes through your crown chakra and allow Source to activate those cords. Would you tell me what happens? What do you feel? I'm seeing another elongated pyramid mm. and like a great sun at the top, at the tip of the top, at the point. Mm-hmm. A pyramid with the sun on the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the light's coming into the cap. Very good. Bring it in. This body is a pyramid. Mm-hmm. This body brings in. The feet are dark. Mm-hmm. Bring it in. Activate those codes. What's happening? The 
It's like the heart is a planet. Mm -hmm. It's been frozen. It's been torment. It's melting. So I'm going to remove my hand from your head and I'm going to put a rose quartz over your heart. And let's begin activating that heart. Tell me what's happening. Something's loosening in the heart. Very good. I think there's a lot of sadness stored there. Mm -hmm. Let's begin taking all of that sadness out. Pull it all out. I feel it's a storage facility. It's holding, it's been holding a lot of sadness. Does that storage need to be there anymore? Does it need to have all this sadness anymore? It can illuminate. Mm -hmm. It's like this body is a pyramid. It's as the body is a planet. Mm -hmm. Body is. This body is not just human. It is a form of. It's, a, it's interesting. It's like on the macro, it is a planet. The heart's another planet. The pyramid is a connection to source. So. The feet are the connection to the soil of this planet, but the capstone connects to infinitive God source. Mm -hmm. So let's allow all of that sadness to be released back to source. Feel it coming out and returning to source for healing. Allow all of that energy of the sadness to be released. How does that heart look now? <laughs> uh, so I'm hearing the phrase that my ex said to me one time that really pissed me off. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, Tanya, you have the light to light up St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting in light of an earlier conversation. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's all connected. And it made me so angry at the time because I felt so... In, incapable and stuck mm -hmm. and couldn't do it and I couldn't uh, I've lived such a small life take a look at that heart now <laughs> what does that heart look like now <laughs> allow that light <sighs> to begin shining find that little spark of light within you Find that source within you. God resides there. Make it bigger. Let's begin beaming that light. That <laughs> looks like a universe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. And now that the heart is shining like a universe, 
is Tanya's mission now that all that sadness is gone? What's next? How can she begin activating those codes? Is there anything that she needs to do? <laughs> same old, same old. Mm -hmm. She needs to connect in every day. Yeah. <sighs> so now that she understands that all of this meditation road that she was on was meant to be for her to use it as a tool on her mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. What can she be doing in this meditation? To activating the codes, generating all of these codes to this planet. She mm -hmm. just needs to tune it in and then beam it out. Mm -hmm. That's all. So let's begin. Very simple. Begin showing her now. What is, where does she bring in the light? Through the capstone? The heart. The heart, all right. That's the planet. All right. Light. So let's see that light coming into her heart now. It's just radiating. Mm -hmm. And let's begin beaming those codes out. Where does she beam them out from? Yeah, so I see uh, they radiate out from the heart, which is, I just see a glowing ball of light mm -hmm. the top of the pyramid connects to bringing the light in and comes down into the form and the feet touch the earth and yeah. spread to the earth so it's a triangulation of light wonderful it's a form and a formlessness and it's just light so now that she understands how to generate these codes how does that change her life now, now that she doesn't have to dwell in this darkness? It removes fear. Wonderful. And now that the fear has been removed, what is the phrase Shoot the dome all about. <sighs> it's an end to manipulation. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, it's to trust that all is there and all is unfolding and all is provided. And on a macro level, it's to pierce the, the ceiling of the limitations of planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So is that where the potential comes from? Planet Earth has been under control. Mm -hmm. Potential is to find the source within mm -hmm. while being on the earth and dial up the light and in doing so shooting the dome is 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 in a way rising in frequency beyond the dome mm -hmm. so the dome doesn't exist anymore so you're you're of the earth mm -hmm. but you're in the earth not of the earth if that makes sense mm -hmm. you're connected to a, a higher frequency that comes in and elevates the Frequency. Now, there's been a lot of talk about this frequency lately, about all of these changes, these waves. Is this something that's been affecting her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her what it's all about? It's about reconnecting to source code. It's about reconnecting to God. 
It's about being love. It's about transforming form into pure love. Is that happening quickly or slowly? Because sometimes people make it sound like it's going to happen overnight. It can happen instantaneously. There's no time, so time's already happened. Mm -hmm. Or it's already happened, it is. Yes. On, on a body perspective, when the frequencies rise to a point beyond the manipulation of the dome of the earth constraints, there's a transformation. And how is Tanya doing with this transformation? She has transcended and she has a daily life. Mm -hmm. Now she wants to be able to be more intuitive, more clairvoyant. Yes. What's keeping her from opening up completely? It's just such a great expansion and sense of light right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, to the question. Mm -hmm. She wants to be more clairvoyant. Yes, it's it's trusting she will know, mm -hmm. and not needing to see, and that ties back to the mission. Mm -hmm. You can see without seeing with the visual. Just knowing, trusting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and that's that connection. The stronger the connection is. But she has to make that connection. She, she has to visualize it. Yes. Good. So what's ahead of her now that she's made this connection, now that she understands that heart has been emptied out of sadness? In the next few years, her life is going to be wide open. Should she be relocating? Should she have a yard again? What's the best for this warrior? Is Los Angeles the right place for her? I'm hearing she will not be tied down. She will not be tied down. I know we like to know things. We like to plan. <laughs> this is another one of those where it will unfold. Mm-hmm. And her job, same thing. Her job is to tune in every day. She will be guided and she will know. How long does she need to tune in? Does it have to be marathon? Meditations or? No, just can be just a minute. A minute? Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Just tune in and dial it up. And connect. Yes. Mm-hmm. Carry that light. Now, we were talking before we even went into hypnosis about the synchronicities, about the flow, allowing yourself just to flow with it. Mm. Would you like to expand on how you can get through life without being worried about planning and the future? Ah, uh, the bills. Mm-hmm. Well, if you look back the timeline, she's made it this far without knowing, without a pension, Mm -hmm. without insurance, or assurance, Mm -hmm. with self-reliance. And so it is. And she's going to continue that way? Yes, but she would like more security. Mm Mm-hmm. It almost sounds like she's going to be living a different dimension. I see a spaceship. Uh Uh-huh. Can you tell her about that spaceship? It's just a white disc. It's just a bubble, kind of a... Well, it's not round. It's not a sphere. It's... Well, what is it? It's just light. What is the significance of the spaceship? She will be traveling. Mm. <laughs> well, she certainly won't be tied multiple. down then. <laughs> multiple meanings there. <laughs> <sighs> does she travel now when she sleeps? Yes. Mm-hmm. Where does she go? Where is her work? Mm. all over. Mm. What does she do in her light body? Uh, Just seeing Bringing light. Bringing light. Traveling, bringing light, connecting light, Mm -hmm. dialing up light, bringing light. So in her sleeping state, in her astral state, she kind of remembered how to do the light. Maybe that's why she's always so exhausted. (laughs) (laughs) So can we begin having her rest a little bit better while she sleeps? (laughs) Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Now that she understands mm-hmm. what her job is here. And she asked about guides. She knows that a lot of people have guides while they're here. Has she ever been on Earth before? And does she have guides? I'm hearing yes and yes, but her guides are more like connecting to light, Mm -hmm. energy, light. They're light beings? Beings, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of formlessness. Is it one guide or is it more? It's source. Source. So she really is connected directly to source. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. But she has been living her life like she's not connected to Source mm. recently. Mm-hmm. Is that why in she, and out? Is that why she kept seeing the pulsing in and out? When you take a body on Earth, there's a disremembering and a disconnection. Mm-hmm.
the challenge is to not get caught in the life itself, but to remember to find the connection. And now she understands mm-hmm. how to do it. Good. Mm-hmm. Would you tell her a little bit about this body of hers? Yes, but I need a bathroom break. All right, so I'm going, to t- possible. I'm going to touch the shoulder. Now, when I do, you can open your eyes when you come back. Mm. We'll be able to do a body scan and go deep into the, sh- into the body. Okay. Eyes open. Wow. Mm-hmm. Doing great. Wow. Take those. Mm-hmm. Wow. We're doing a scan of the body. I'd like for you to tell me first what you see in the body before we get to her questions. It's interesting. I'm seeing a series of faces. Mm-hmm. Let's find out who those faces are. Who are these faces? Past lives. Mm-hmm. I want you to focus in on one of them and tell me what you see. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely not human. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, tell me what you look like there. <laughs> um, it's kind of shifting form. Mm-hmm. But, um, it looks like grayish, pale blue s- s- flesh. Um, amber colored eyes. Mm-hmm. What shape is the eye in? Round. Mm-hmm. Amen. Almost like a... Um, wow, I don't know how to describe it, but the whole forehead nose situation is like almost a um, uh, beast, mm-hmm. <laughs> animal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you could think of an animal mm-hmm. on Earth, what would it remind you of? Mm. I don't know. Goat? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. What does the long the the nose look like? Is it long or short? Does it have a nose? What do you see yourself as? Short. Short. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of protrudes from the forehead down. Okay. It's kind of weird. <laughs> no. Do you feel male or female? Do you have a gender? It could be both. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about that lifetime. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'll touch your forehead and see yourself in that lifetime for the purpose of exploring why it's important to you. One, two, and three. Where are you? I'm seeing that face, and it's it's like it's superimposing mm-hmm. and changing. So like it might be more feminine than more masculine. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like a mask, but it because it's so unhuman looking. Mm-hmm. 
Let's find out the significance of that lifetime. Uh, allow yourself to totally acclimate. Allow yourself to see through the eyes of that face. And as you merge, what's the first thing, the first impression that you have? feeling a pressure behind my eyes. Mm -hmm. Follow that pressure and let's see what that pressure is. Now oh, I see an animal. Mm -hmm. What's this animal? What is it? I said, I'm asking. I don't know what mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. Maybe, um, oh boy, what is that? That's little horns, mm -hmm. big eyes. Mm -hmm. What is this little animal doing behind your eyes? I don't know. All right, I'm going to count from one to three. And let's speak with this little animal, one, two, and three. You there behind the eyes? What are you doing there? Hiding. Hiding. <laughs> what are you hiding from? <laughs> Why are you hiding behind this soul's eyes? Hmm. I don't want to be hunted. Who's hunting you? The people. Mm -hmm. Who are the people? The blue people. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these blue people. Who are they? I don't know, but they want me. Let's find out why they want you. What's so important about you? Meat. Meat. They eat you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And my innocence. What happens when they eat your innocence? Mm-hmm. Are you an animal? Or are you yeah. something else? Not sure. Let's find out what it is that you are. What's the importance of you? The importance of your power, of your innocence? Pure. Purity. Purity. And what happens when these, pu these blue people eat purity? They get stronger. Mm -hmm. We get weaker. Are you a collective? Or just one of you? I'm hearing my people, so I guess I'm a collective. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it that you have sought out Tanya? What is it about her? 
that keeps you hidden from the blue people. She'll protect us. Mm -hmm. Does she need to protect you from behind her eyes? No. No. What have you been doing to her? What symptoms has she felt from you being there? Blinding. Blinding. Do you think that for someone to protect you, you have to blind them? No, that doesn't make sense. No. Would you like her to help you now? Yes. Very good. So take a deep breath in. Tanya, you have this this little one, this pure one behind you, wanting protection, wanting the light. You now know that you have a universe within you. You know now how to use that light. You know how to triangulate. You know how to amplify it. Let's begin using that light to shine on this little animal so that he can follow it. Allow him to go back to his people. Send that light behind your eyes. Fill this animal with light. Send them home. And now let's take a deep breath in and let me speak with that animal and ask, how is it that you're feeling now that she has sent her light to you? Good. Good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and remove all of your essence from behind her eyes and begin to travel through that light back to your own. Tell me when it is done. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. May the light of the universe always accompany you. And now, <clears throat> let's do a scan of the body and let's see what else she sees there. She was seeing a being. Was that the pale blue being that was after this animal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he have anything to do with her life? Or was this being just sawing out, sorting out this little animal? Is this being gone now? I'm hearing there are those that will seek her light. All right. Let's find out why they want to seek her light. What do they want from her? They want it. Mm -hmm. What can she do? She has this universe within her. She has the connection to Source. How she, can she protect herself from this evil so that this planet that she is this triangular being is no is no longer put on fire like she was before. She is no longer covered in evil. What can she do now when she sees those come towards her? She can dial her light even stronger. Wonderful. We'll just blow them out. Wonderful. So let's take a look around the room, take a look around her life, and let's see if there are any of those that are in her life now, taking her energy, taking her light. Okay. 
take a look at her loved ones and see if any of these are taking their light too. What does she see? Yes, there were a series of faces. Mm -hmm. I, I understand who they are. Mm -hmm. So can we begin sending that tremendous beam of light towards them? Yes. Very good. Tell me when she's done. Very good. What is the reason for the RH negative blood? Where does this bloodline come from? Heard Arcturian. Arcturian. Mm -hmm. Is it anything related to DNA? Can she do anything, being that she has this blood? I'm seeing, um, I don't know if this is related, so, but mm -hmm. I'm seeing a waterfall. Okay. I'm in like a, uh, feels like almost like a grotto. Mm -hmm. And there's this very steep waterfall of white water cascading down. Mm hmm. And it reminds me of a scene I saw earlier, but it was light. Mm -hmm. But this is more physical. <clears throat> Where is this waterfall and what's the significance of it? Hearing fountain of life. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to follow that. Mm -hmm. Allow that clarity, the knowing, to bubble up, allowing you to get all of this information effortlessly. As we review the information, review the questions, and connect with the answers. Why is it that Tanya has RH negative blood? There's a deep connection to source. Deep connection to source. Tell me about that deep connection. It's an old bloodline. Mm -hmm. Where does it come that from? Is, it's a, uh, it's a, when human was a uh, pure source. When human was pure source? It was a pure source. Mm -hmm.
blood has codes. Mm -hmm. What kind of codes does it have? The blood carries light. Universal wisdom. How does one with RH negative blood unblock this wisdom? Unblock the light? Allow it to flow. universal energy in the blood which can be initiated with intention and a connection to source so She can activate it further with her connections. She can So she simply needs to set an intention to activate her blood to activate that light. It all works together with mm -hmm. the amplification of Connection to source. Does everybody who have RH negative blood carry this? Yes, all all beings have that connection and can connect to source and this blood is a more pure form it's, it has a different it has different codes that can be connected in an easier way or more connected way there's a facility meaning it's It's, it's, uh, they're carriers. Mm -hmm. Can we activate that now? Yes. All right. So tell her what needs to be done for her to now activate that. This is being done. Thank you. And while you're doing this, would you tell her about the nosebleeds? She saw Stranger Things, where she said that the character there named Seven had nosebleeds when she had a psychic exertion. Is anything happening to Tanya causing these nosebleeds? They seem very random. When 
she breaks and it's like a barrier, um, an interdimensional barrier, sometimes very quickly. Is she doing this? Is she doing this intentionally? She's not aware of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like a vibrational change? She's breaking through a different vibration or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like when the shift is a... from a frequency back to a... earth frequency, Mm -hmm. sometimes, if it's a rapid shift, Mm-hmm. It's like uh, I'm hearing. It's like when you break a sound barrier, of it mm-hmm. when there's a shift. That's and uh, it's so rapid that the body has a reaction. Okay, good. It's nothing to worry about. It's not like a cancer. Okay, what's going on with her feet? She says she has tremendous pain in her foot. What's causing that? Mm. Is that a message? I'm hearing the phrase broken bones. She has broken bones? Let's find out where that's coming from. Would you show her? Is it a past life? Is it a thought form? Is it an attachment? What's causing the pain? Entity. An entity. Would you allow me to connect with that entity now? Thank you very much. So I'm going to take my hand and bring that entity up. All the way up the body. Up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female entity? Do you have a gender? Male. Male. Do you have a name I could call you? Bob. Bob. (laughs) Bob. What's going on with your feet? (sighs) What happened to you? They broke my feet. Who broke your feet, Bob? I don't know. How old are you, Bob? 56. Mm -hmm. And what year is it? 1929. Mm -hmm. What were you doing, Bob, when you lost your body? What was happening? There was a shootout. Mm -hmm. What was going on that there was a shootout? Where were you? Who shot you? I don't know. Did you do any of the shooting, Bob? I might have had a gun. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about what happened after you lost your life. Take a look at your body. What happened to your body? Mm-hmm. And so what happened? Why didn't you go home to the light? Why didn't you go back to source? I 
I saw this light. Mm. She is a very powerful light, isn't she? It was bright. Mm -hmm. But this is not the right light. All you did is make her feet painful. Just like your own, you never got back to source. Are you ready to go back now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob, take a look inside of your heart. <clears throat> You're going to see that God spark there. Tell me when you see it. Yeah. Now make it bigger. Make it really big, Bob. So it takes over your entire body. Tell me how that feels. Wow. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. You had this light within all the time. Wow. What would you like to tell Tanya after all this time of messing with her? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How old was she when you attached to her? Little. Little. Mm -hmm. Bob, go ahead and begin removing all of that energy from her body. Take it all out. Don't leave anything in. Tell me when you're done. Okay. All right. Now that light within you, I want you to go ahead and shoot some of that white light into that area where you were. Send that white light in there. You've been keeping that pretty dark all this time. And now what would you like to tell Tanya? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Tanya, what would you like to tell Bob? It's, it's all right. All right. So Bob, I'd like for you now to look within that light. And that's the way back home. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin following that light. And tell me when you get back home. Tell me who's there to welcome you. I see a golf course. Mm. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Is there anybody there to welcome you? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people cheering. Very good. Bob, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank very you. Good. Very good. <laughs> so now I'd like to find out if there's any other entities within her body. Anything else causing her any issues? Mm. The back. Her back. What's going on with her back, please? Lower back, mostly on the right side. Mm -hmm. What is that? Is this something she created? What's being stored there? I'm seeing like a black box, a All black. Right. Let's find out about that black box. Mm -hmm. What's inside that black box? Go ahead and open it and see what you've been storing in there. What does that black mm. box have? What's in there? It's kind of rusty inside. Mm-hmm. Let's see why it is that Tanya has put that black box inside of her back. What does that black box contain? I'm hearing it's a limiter. Mm -hmm. Did she put that there, or did someone else put that there? It was put there. Mm -hmm. What is it limiting? Ease of connection. Mm. Let's find out who put it there. I'd like for you to follow the source. And allow yourself to see who it was that put it there. Who 
We'll put this limiter there. What do they look like? It's the blue. The blue people. Is that it? That's what I saw. Mm hmm Now the only one that could take it out is the blue. So I'd like for you now to confront the blue and tell them to remove that limiter now. I don't want you to channel them. I want you to speak directly with them. Find out why they put it there. And tell them to remove it. What did the blue tell you? It's just to, to limit my ability to expand the line. Mm -hmm. It's to hold me down. Mm -hmm. You have free will. You are sovereign. Mm. You are a warrior. You're here. To triangulate and expand that light. Let's find out why they put it there. And tell them to remove it now. And tell me what happens. I'm experiencing a deeper, full, mm -hmm. like a 360. Uh, instead of a 2D, more like a 3D mm -hmm. um, circumference of light. Wonderful. Yeah. So I'd like for you to use that same light that you have from within, from your heart, and I want you to beam it into that space in your back where that limiter was. Let's begin to transform that area. Seal it up. And tell me when you're done. And she tells me that she can't seem to lose weight. She struggles with the wheat. What is it about the wheat? She's eliminated everything else. I'm not getting an answer on that. I'm mm -hmm. just in the experience of a lot of golden light right now. All right, very good. So allow that golden light to encapsulate you. And while it does, I'd like to ask if there's anything else um, that you can help her with. She's had questions about her cats, mm. Pino and Baxter, mm. why they're attacking each other, <laughs> why they have tears in their ears. What's going on with them? <laughs> Why is one being so mean to the other? <laughs> it's a zombie cat. Mm -hmm. He's got something going on, that one. So what is, it that, what is it that he's got? Does he have anything attached to yeah, him? Yeah, he must have something going on. Mm-hmm. So what can Tanya do today to assist her cat? I'm going to put him in the light. Very good. Thank you. 
He's a spy. He is. He's got something. He's. Who's he spying? For? I don't know. He's he's he's. Does he have anything to do with the blues? There's something in those eyes. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel like he's passing intel or something. Mm. He's got something going on. Okay. So, as long as Tanya continues to send him light, is he going to be okay? I feel like, I feel like something kind of takes over him sometimes. Mm Mm-hmm. So let's do a scan of that house and see if there's anything that's going around in that house that is affecting the occupants of that house. Mm. Take a oh, look. that's an interesting choice. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's in that house. <laughs> what's there? Well, there's the neighbor and her broomstick mm-hmm. underneath her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big complex. There's... Um, Let's send. Let's see if anybody has sent anything into that house that shouldn't be there. Any entities that are wreaking havoc on that family? use that light within you and just keep shining it around that house and see if there's anything there yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna literally triangulate this it's that's right 55 55 units very good so I feel like there's a lot in there mm-hmm go ahead and begin doing that now bring it in let's begin there's shooting. a lot of energy in that uh-huh. building shoot it out Seeing the location, it's right at the intersection of the 405 and the 10. Mm-hmm. It's a major artery of two main freeways in a major city. Mm-hmm. I feel like that location is a placement. And she can triangulate on a regular basis. Wonderful. Good. <clears throat> Now, we, uh, I asked before about the diet. Anything else that you would like to recommend? I meant the 101, said the 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's doing well on the diet. Okay. And the weed in moderation is fine. And she can radiate her food. Okay, good. Is there anything that I have not asked that you would like to tell her now? Hmm. You are not a failure. You have made tremendous progress. Just remember to tune in and be conscious of tuning in. simple hand on heart to to strengthen the connection 
is sufficient. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> what an experience. That's a great place to be. <laughs> kind of didn't want to leave. I know. It feels good. Huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you made quite a bit of progress today. Ah, I'm just puffling in light. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> What a journey. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, ah, I'm oh. like a waterfall of light. That's what you are. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's like, wow. we aren't the body, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, we're not. So how long do you feel that the session was? How long did it feel? Oh my goodness. I don't know. There's no sense of time. <laughs> what do you think it was? I mean, it just felt like it flowed, so... I would to guess. I don't know, um, Alba. It's like 20 minutes, maybe. Mm. We're on two hours and 14 minutes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know, it's just like no time. We did great. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah. Two hours and change. Yeah. Wow. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm just bubbly. Like... Yeah. Lots of energy. Whew. Amazing, huh? Really amazing, yes. Um, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Is this something you want to share, editing out personal stuff? Yeah, if you think so, if there's mm -hmm. something to share. Well, hey, you were a planet. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's almost like we're not the body, no, we're you not. know, and it's, it's so hard to be a human. It really sucks. It's hard. Well, you came here for a mission. This part is this is like in the light. That's amazing. That's easy. It's just <laughs> it's being in density. It's you came hard. here to be challenged, and you oh. were. Oh, now man. you understand. Now that you understand that you don't have to be challenged anymore. I mean, you you realize you made that connection already. Yeah, I mean, it's on a whole other level, mm -hmm. and it's it's stuff. It's just reiterating that. We take that step and it's provided. Yeah. And I've lived that way. And so I do know it. it it's hard. You need to live in the now. You can't be worried about the future. You can't be uh, thinking about the past. You have to live in the now. And the, the now is where everything occurs. And there's no time. And there's no such thing as time. So there's no waiting either, right? It just happens. <laughs> oh, well, we made it. Wow, what a journey. What a journey, what a journey. Amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. So tell everybody why you came here and what you were expecting and what you got from us. Ooh. Okay, so I tried not to expect. <laughs> I really tried to just, you know, go with the flow, yes. not have expectations. And? And I went on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. I, I just, I came, I just... I came, why did I come? I really, I had some real burning questions. Yeah. I'm really at a crossroads in my life. And mm -hmm. I, um, I, I feel like I could go off in an, any number of directions and it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's freeing and it's also, um, confusing. Yeah. You know? Well, you're basically told it's just going to go. It's, you're just going to go with the flow. And not knowing. And not knowing. And, and not knowing how I'm going to, you know, provide for my future as I get older. And I'm, that's, I'm not, I'm no spring chicken. But that's how <laughs> life is. Life is supposed to be like that. You're supposed to flow. I have no idea what I'm doing next year. What, whatever you're doing, you're doing well. <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I'm just allowing the universe to, to take me. And when people say, well, you know, what are you going to do next? Or are you going to do this? I don't know. It's just, yeah. it's just going to happen. Things are just falling on my lap. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen with you. We, you know, we had a little story of, you know, people give me clues and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's the right path. So you have been hypnotized before. Yes. How did that help you? How did it help me? It helped me um, in a number of ways, actually. Yeah. To have the experience, um, mm -hmm. to 
I think one of the key things that we talked about too was just to know that it, the messages weren't going to be like, you know, big lights and no. bing, 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 you know. Um, no, it's subtle. To, it's very subtle. Mm -hmm. And to trust that and yes. to whatever is arising, mm -hmm. whether it's a color, a sensation, um, because I'm not extremely visual. Although sometimes I would get a visual. Yes. So it was a combination of a feeling mm -hmm. or a sensation or a visual yes. scene or just a knowing of a word. A word a word would pop up and I'm, my mind's going, <laughs> what's that? Uh, what, what's that? Uh -huh. I saw the, the blue. I'm like, no, no. And you, <laughs> and you notice that the whole beginning was all about blue, which is the darkness, you know, and you were disconnected. And at the end, we realized there was a lot of blue people there that were controlling. I don't know who those people were. <laughs> Do I need to know? No, no. But the fact <laughs> is they, they were controlling you. And, and yeah. there's a lot more. More probably in the future. Yeah. But whether you want to go deeper or not. I think there was a lot more. Yeah. But yeah. you're only given what you needed. So in the yeah. last hypnosis session, you got a little bit. I got a little bit. I got um, the ability to trust what was coming right. up, which I think is key. Yes. And then this one, I felt like it was so much deeper. Oh my goodness. Different. <laughs> it was a journey. Yes, it was. And we, yeah. we kept going different places. Yeah. So is this something you recommend for others? Oh my gosh. Do? Absolutely. If you can get in. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, we're in Dallas, Texas right now. And where are you from? Los Angeles. Yeah. So, so. we kind of met. Yes. <laughs> In the middle here. I was willing to fly wherever. Yeah. Yeah. I knew once I saw your videos, I was like, oh, I have to. I just, it called to me immediately. Yeah. I was yeah. just like, this is amazing. And you got a lot. And believe it or not, Tanya and I, and I also met um, in Escondido. Yes, at your, at the, at, at the call. The call. Yeah. yeah. So we got to meet before this too. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, for like See? 10 seconds. For 10 seconds. We yes. said hello. It was, yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, go to my website, albaweinman.com. Go to the out of town page. You will sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter is the only way that you'll know where I'm going to next. Uh, it comes out about once a month. As soon as you get it, click on those links and that's how you get a session with me. If there's no sessions, <laughs> they've been taken. They go really fast. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. All right. Bye. Thank you so much. Oh.